Scraping LinkedIn jobs with NA10 and Bright Data. This is a video that I decided to um, publish after uh, a few of you reached out to me. Uh, they saw the video that I uploaded about scraping Indeed job post and they asked me to uh, generate another video, a similar video. Uh, this time, with uh, instead of scraping Indeed, we are, I'm going to share with you how to scrape LinkedIn jobs. Um, the flow is already available in the NTN marketplace. You can just copy and paste it. All you have to do is change the API keys. Make sure that uh, you have a Bright Data account. For those of you who don't know, Bright Data is one of the leading players um, in the world in terms of providing scraping uh, solutions and boxy solutions. And they have many different products products and they are doing a great job they have different pricing uh, options i'm just using the pay as you go which is very convenient anyway so let me walk you through um the workflow first of all i guess the idea is pretty straightforward what we want to do is we want to be able to scrape linkedin job post on a, a consistent basis so let's say every day we want to find job posts that are related to what we are looking for, assuming that we are job hunting or if we are prospecting for an agency or a, a certain type of business. LinkedIn job posts are a, a great a signal that shows intent. Um, just as an example, let's say someone is hiring, posted a, a job post that he is going to hire, a company is hiring a video editor and your agency is offer, offering video editing solutions. So this is actually a very good intent, a, a very good signal of intent. And based on this, you can decide whether or not you want to reach out to the person who posted the job post or perhaps the CEO or CMO of the company. So this is, is basically what we are doing over here. I built this automation that scrapes all the job posts, all the information, including the job title, company name, job location, job summary, job seniority level, job function, job employment type, salary, um, company URL, etc. And many, many other fields. Everything is being done by the Bright Data Scraper. And after that, you can start crunching the data. You can take uh, the data and generate um, code outreach um, messages using an LLM or manually or basically do whatever you would like but having this constantly updated data about people who uh, post posted job posts is very very valuable so in order to automate this um, we are going to use bright data what you can do is if you don't want this on a recurring basis you can just come here to the library of different scrapers right linkedin you can see they have many different solutions for LinkedIn, so you can scrape people based on profile, uh, you can scrape um, recent posts by a specific URL, you can scrape people based on a provider URL, etc. And what I uh, love using it for is for job posting, because job posting, as I said, is a very uh, significant signal of intent. So what we are doing, we are using the LinkedIn job listing information discovered by, by keyword. In the automation itself, we are using the Scraper API, but I want to show you how easy it is just using the no-code Scraper. So let's say we are looking for job posts in New York. We want AI consultant. This is the keyword we are looking for. Country is going to be the US. The time range is going to be the last 24 hours. We are only looking for contract. No specific experience level. We don't care whether or not it's remote, on-site or hybrid position. And that's it. We start collecting. Yeah, so this is how it looks like when you're using the interface provided by Bright Data. Uh, this is very valuable, but it's not necessarily as scalable and as using the API. As you can see, it already has finished. So no records found. Let's try to change what we are looking for. So perhaps let's use this, which uh, is 
like the search term that they have out of the box just to show you the, the example probably uh, no job post were uh, published in the last 24 hours and this is why related to the keyword this is why we didn't get any results but now it has started scraping uh, the example and it will be ready in a moment in the meantime let me duplicate this screen and show you exactly how this looks like if we are using the api so linkedin jobs discover by keyword scraper api and over here we have all the columns and all the data that we are going to get from the scraper so url job posting id job title company name company id job summary seniority level etc so there are 25 different fields that we are going to get so country code application link etc everything is going to be added to this spreadsheet which you can copy and paste the headers of the columns are already um, organized in a way that the NTN workflow will be able to map them automatically and just add the data correctly. Let's see if it has finished in the meantime. We'll go to the logs. Yes, I think it has finished. Yes, okay. So let's see what we got. We can download it as a CSV, for example. Let's open it. So as you can see, all the job posts are well scraped based on the criteria. We have the job posting, we have the job title, etc. So this is if you're not using the API and not using the automation. What our automation does is basically um, putting everything into the Google spreadsheet and allows you afterwards you can connect LLM or do whatever you would like. But the most interesting thing that this automation does is besides of handling everything and adding everything to the Google spreadsheet is the fact that I also added here um, a JavaScript code that cleans up certain fields that are scraped with the uh, different HTML tags or um, noise in the results. So as you can see here, we have some noise in the results. So basically that specific code node is going to clean that up. Not completely, but it's going to clean significant chunks of the HTML. So it will be easier to handle. Now, in terms of the whole workflow, let me just go through it very fast. Um, first, you submit a form, which contains the location, the keyword of the job post, the country, the time range, when was it, when was it posted, the job type, the experience level, whether or not you want only remote positions, etc., uh, or, or if it was posted by a specific company. So this is how the JSON is going to look like. And the JSON is being generated in this form. All you have to do is just fill out the form. Then we are sending an HTTP request to Bright Data, asking Bright Data to scrape the relevant information. Then we are entering this polling loop, which basically what this polling loop does, it checks whether or not the scraper has finished scraping. If it did, we are going to ask the scraper to send us all the information in the dataset. If it didn't, we are going to wait again in this instance five minutes until the next time we are going to check whether or not the scraper has finished. If it did, we are going to move forward. Then we are cleaning up all the results and we are placing them in the Google spreadsheet, as you can see here. So nothing, um, nothing too amazing in this specific workflow in terms of, of um, using agents or um, an LLM, but still, I think this is one of the most important and impactful workflows that I've published lately, because as I said many, many times during this video, people that post job posts uh, have probably very high intent. 
so of hiring obviously so if you're looking for a job this could be valuable but also it, it can be very valuable for prospecting so if you're an agency owner or have a specific uh, a business you should always think about what would be uh, let's say let's say i have a content repurposing agency what would be relevant what job posts would be relevant for me and let's actually do this very short experiment let's use for all let's assume I am a graphic designer specializing in creating banners for e-commerce businesses um, in the direct-to-consumer space and healthcare space. I want to build an automation that scrapes LinkedIn job posts and tells me or returns only job posts that might be relevant for me. I want your help with coming up with a few ideas of keywords that might be relevant for me. These keywords should um, represent job posts that um, I can pitch to them my specific business. So although this was very improvised and not structured, we can see how the LLM is going to assist us. So great, since you're targeting e-commerce direct to consumer and healthcare companies and offering banner design, you want to find job posts that imply they need visual assets, they're launching or scaling marketing campaigns, they're hiring for design roles, they're hiring, they're running paid media, they are direct to consumer brands for e-commerce stores. Here are a, a few keyboard ideas categorized by intent. So in this automation, you are going to add all of the following. You can do this by one by one or just adjust the automation so it won't be one by one. So graphic designer, creative designer, marketing designer, visual designer, ad creative designer, banner designer, freelance designer, or content, contract graphic designer. Now, in terms of um, paid ads, they usually need ad creatives where you shine is performance marketing, paid social manager, Facebook ads specialist, etc. And in terms of e-commerce, like the consumer specific signals, these are the words. And also for this. So uh, in terms of filter filtering, um, we can also use scale, launch, goals. I don't like this so much. Now let's ask it another thing. If I had to pick only five keywords, which keywords would you suggest and why? Order them in order of importance. So let's clean up all the fluff. So creative designer would be the best, then performance marketing, pay social, e-commerce designer, and healthcare marketing. So these are just an examples of what you can look here, what you can add here in the form. So you will find relevant positions that you can uh, reach out to while you're job hunting or just prospecting. That's pretty much it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. Obviously, leave your feedback in the comment section below. And until next time, keep on automating.